Hello, Scorpio. This is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your um, four month psychic love cast for February, March, April, and May. So, welcome to the channel. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to light up a aloe vera incense. I hope that you guys like the the dramatic uh, Celtic like fantasy music that I've got playing. It's really, really good stuff. Okay, I love it. So I hope you like it. It just sort of adds to the whole drama. Okay, the dramatic effect. All right, so let's get started. Oh, that smells really, really good and refreshing. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and get started for the Scorpio spirits and spirit guides for the Scorpios for February, March, April, and May of 2018. What are you seeing happening for the singles and the lovers for the Scorpios, okay? February, March, April, and May of 2018 for the Scorpios. Scorpio sun, moon, and rising. All right, let's see. Justice for February. Three of Cups. So there's the Justice for February. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot deck. Three of Cups for March, the Hermit for April, and the Wheel of Fortune for May. So, Scorpios, right now I feel as though you are possibly either dealing with, I feel like right now you're dealing with, um, Tying up loose ends. I feel like the justice card represents, you know, things have went in your favor. Um, you know, you may have had some kind of either lawsuit or maybe some kind of messy ass divorce or something. But I feel like things are coming together for you in the month of February. Justice does represent some kind of law of attraction law of it represents the law of cause and effect so i feel like for this month that's what you are dealing with scorpio justice represents the energy that you put out there and when it comes back to you okay now i feel like it's good energy because the three of cups is next to it so i feel like a lot of you um you know are going to for the month of March. It's almost like things are starting out fresh for you. I see a lot of brand new relationships for a lot of you Scorpios starting in March. So I feel like you're starting a relationship sometime in March. Now, just keep in mind that Mercury is going to go into retrograde uh, end of March and I think all through April when the moon is in Aries. So, and you do have the hermit that comes up for the month of April. So we'll clarify that. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some more clarity on um, the month of March is what I want to know. Okay, Queen of Cups and the Temperance. So again, oh, I hate that. That darn ice cream truck, it just, it's like, why? You can just hear it. It's like it's right there, right next to me. Queen of Cups and Temperance. I feel like things are going to be very balanced for you. I feel like it also represents moderation. But Temperance also in a love reading, in a love reading, Temperance is going to represent taking your time, taking things slowly in a relationship. Okay, Spirit, give me some more clarity on the Justice card for February. Okay, yep, the Prince of Swords, Prince of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So I feel like a lot of you have been, you know, Possibly in communication, communication from a water sign, and then also communication is coming from an air sign. So I do feel as though, Scorpio, you sort of have, you might have two different people pursuing you. I feel like both of these people possibly could be pursuing you. 
okay? I feel like the water sign, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I was going to say the water sign is going to win because uh, the Queen of Cups shows up in the next month. But Spirits, give me clarity on the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Three of Wands comes up for the Page of Swords. Give Scorpio advice on the Prince of Cups. Now, if you are currently in a relationship, and particularly with a air sign, I feel like you guys are sort of going back and forth bickering. You're communicating. Okay, Queen of Pentacles comes up. Okay, so I feel like you have more of a deeper connection with the water sign for some reason. Um, you can, you know, agree or disagree on that, but, you know, especially with the Queen of Pentacles showing up. I feel like Queen of Pentacles represents somebody that has, somebody that has a lot of loyalty, somebody that, you know, sort of has a piece of you, you know? Spirits, what final advice do you want to offer to the Scorpios for the situation with the uh, communication and all the stuff going on in February? Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, the four of pentacles. So don't hold on to things that are toxic. Let go of the things that are toxic. Okay, let go of the toxic energy. Oh, goodness gracious. Hair's driving me crazy. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, again, month of March, I feel like a lot of you might be either having reunions or starting new relationships with people, in particular water sign. Uh, could also be an air sign, though. Okay, the world card kind of flipped out while I was, um, and I was going to ask about the month of April. So let's ask spirits and spirit guides. What do you want Scorpios to know about the month of April? Why the her why the hermit? Okay. The Eight of Cups is in the reverse position. And the Tower comes in in the reverse position also. So I feel like Scorpio, there is something, some kind of emotional energy or maybe emotional situation that you won't leave behind. You need to leave it behind and you're resisting on that. Also, you're resisting change. So this is a big change for you, Scorpio, because you've been sort of, you haven't been quite this intimate with somebody. This is very, very intimate for you. And I feel like at first glance, it feels almost too good to be true to you. That's why the Hermit and the World card comes up. Because it's almost like, wait a minute, this is too perfect. I feel like if I sneeze, something bad is going to happen. So I feel as though if you're dealing with a Scorpio in April, they are going to sort of do some inner reflecting. I feel like you need to let them be alone. I feel like you need to let them have their space. So the Hermit could represent... Scorpio's need for space and give them time. You know, they, I mean, a lot of people will become, when you become too demanding on water signs. So I'm just going to tell you, I'm a sister of the, <laughs> of the Scorpios and cause I'm a cancer, I'm a water sign. So I understand them more than you think. Okay. So you know, Scorpio's being resistant to the change. There's been a lot of positive things that have been happening, like that are going to be happening in the month of March. Uh, positive things happening now. There's positive things happening now. So final advice for the month of April. I feel like things are going to be a little off also because Mercury is going to be in retrograde. Why the Tower Reverse Spirits? See? Scorpio's thinking about marriage, and that's something that's different for them. It's different. It's stability. Okay? Stability. It's change. It's growth. 
okay? For the month of May, you got the Wheel of Fortune. So you guys might have some money coming in, Scorpios. I'll have to do your money readings. I'll try to get those done today as well. Spirit, give me some clarity on the month of uh, May. Uh oh, I will tell you, Scorpios, be careful. There may be some pregnancies because in the month of March, you're just going to be just loving, just loving each other. Okay, what do they say? Loving on each other? <laughs> you're just going to be loving on each other in March. Somebody might find out they're pregnant in May. Okay, so just to let you know, yeah, some quick unexpected change is coming up. And the four wands, I'd say that that's a good, pretty good fertility. Uh, a lot of people typically will do that around this time of the year because that's just sort of how it is when you are a human being. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the emperor turned over. So I feel as though you're going to be feeling really stable in your relationship, very good about your relationship. feel like I see engagements coming up for a lot of you in May, engagements for the Scorpios. More info about the month of May 2018. Okay, the Hanged Man and then the Ace of Wands. So... Very, very good outcome. I do feel as though in between there, Scorpio, you've got some things in the past that is making it difficult for you. But I feel as though as far as for your love reading, you're surrendering. I see this as the surrender. Surrender is what I see this as with the Ace of Wands. Okay, I feel as though this is where you, and, and I feel like definitely you probably have been afraid to take that leap of faith, and you typically because of your family, Scorpio. Either your family or your friends, whoever you depend on for strength, okay, uh, you know, I feel them sort of discouraging you in a lot of ways, you know, in your love life or discouraging you from the relationship with whoever this is, you have a beautiful connection with this person. Uh, I sense heavily that there is an earth sign of a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus that pops up. Could be your father. Could be also, you know, I do see things sort of going topsy-turvy, but I feel like it, uh, I feel like it comes together. I keep seeing the number four, so maybe the 24th of the month or either the 4th of April. Like I said, I do see some kind of difficulty in April, but in May, I do sort of see uh, see you. And, and then also, I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, there's been some expectations that has been set for you by your lover, and I feel like you're going to give in to those. I feel like you're going to give in to their will because of the... Because of the emperor, you're going to give in to the power of love. Okay, so the emperor in a love reading kind of represents, I want to be your husband or I want to be your wife and, you know, that kind of energy. So anyway, that's going to do it for you guys' reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Also, make sure again that you hit the subscribe button, thumbs this video up. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Blessed be.